Figma has recently released a new exciting feature that's gonna save us so much time when it comes to editing multiple objects, and that's called multi-edit. In this video, I'll break down how this feature works and share some killer use cases that will elevate your design workflow. Let's dive in. Here is a practice file that I already prepared for you and you can get a copy of it from the link down in the description. So let's start with the basics of the multi-edit feature. Here as you can see I have three identical frames with three circles inside. Now imagine you want to select this blue circle in every single frame here and you want to edit them simultaneously. How can you do that? Well, one way is to just select this first one, hold down the shift key, select this one and this one. That's the first way, but imagine you have 20 different frames. It could be time consuming to select them one by one. Now you don't need to do that. You can now just select one of them. And if you head over to the toolbar, here you'll find this new icon, which allows you to select matching layers in other frames. So if I select this first blue circle and I hit this icon, as you can see, all these blue circles will be selected. And now I can easily modify them simultaneously. So I can scale them up. Let me hit K on my keyboard to select the scale tool and just scale them up or down just like this. Or I can change their other properties such as color. Let's go ahead and modify that. Or maybe its position, you can just simply move them around like this. But that's not all. There are many other use cases that we are going to go through. But before we do that, you need to understand how Figma can identify matching layers across different frames. Figma can identify matching layers across different frames based on their names and position. So here, as you can see, all these circles are named circle. If I go ahead and change its name, for example, to circle one, and I hit this button, as you can see, it says no matching layers to select in this section. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Let me just rename it back to circle. Now let me show you another example. I'm going to go ahead and select these three circles and I'm going to move them around like this. Now let's imagine you want to center align all these circles. How can you do that? Well, you might say we can select them all like this, hold down the shift key and select them all and just hit the center align icon. But it doesn't work. When you select multiple elements and you try to align them, they will be aligned to this blue boundary, not the main parent frame. So the other way is to just go ahead and select them one by one and center align them which is not an efficient way, right? Well, in the past, the best thing we could do was either select them all and put them inside an auto layout frame or group them and then align them. So let me show you, I'm gonna select them all. I'm gonna right click on it and just click on group selection. And now that they are grouped, we can simply align them to the center. But Figma introduced another feature, which is very, very useful. I'm so happy that this feature is available now. Now we can select these three circles and then we can head over to the alignment section and now we can hold down the shift key on our keyboard and as you can see the icons changed and if I hover over any one of these icons you can see that now it says align horizontally to frame so now if I try to align them to the center look what happens they will be aligned to the center of their parent frame which is this frame one and it's so, so cool. But you might ask, Arash, can we just select one element and find the matching layers across different frames like this? The answer is no. You can select multiple elements and Figma will find the matching layers across different frames. So let's say you wanna select all the blue and orange circles. You can simply select these two here, click on this icon, and there we go. The other cool thing about this feature is that now you can transform multiple objects independently. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say you want to rotate all these circles independently. Now you can do that, but it wasn't possible in the past. You can simply increase the rotation property like that. And as you can see, these circles are rotating independently. All right, now that you're familiar with the basics of the multi-edit feature, let's move on to more exciting use cases. The next feature we are going to talk about is the multi-edit text. Imagine you're designing a card and you want to design different variants of it. So you duplicate it like what I have here, and then suddenly you decide to modify a text layer in all those frames, like what I have here. I have this lemon text layer, and imagine I want to modify them all. It wasn't possible in the past, but now it is. I can simply select this text layer, 
Then I can click on this little icon to select the matching layers across different frames, like that. But we are not done yet. As soon as I do that, since I selected a text layer, this new icon appears, which says multi-edit text. I can either click on it or hit enter and then start modifying this text. I can change it to orange. And as you can see, all the text layers are changing simultaneously. Now let's move on to the next feature, which is the multi-edit selection. Well, I already showed you how you can select a specific element and find the matching elements across different frames, right? But there is one other way of selecting matching layers. And here is how it works. Let's say you want to select this particular card across these frames, right? So as soon as you select it, you can either click on this little icon or you can hold down the shift key on your keyboard and as you can see this card is being highlighted in these two frames as well and now while i'm holding down the shift key i can just left click and drag just like this and i can select the matching layers in these frames so that's an alternative way for selecting matching layers now let's move on to the next feature multi-edit and auto layout well the multi-edit feature also works with auto layout frames which is so cool let me show you how it works here as you can see i have two auto layout frames with the same badges as you can see i have design research presentation and prototyping now let's say i want to select this research badge and just move it around or modify it somehow. So I can just simply select it, click on this little icon, and as you can see, it's selected in the other frame, which has a different layout. Here we have a vertical layout, here we have a horizontal layout. And now I can modify all its properties, such as color, size, corner radius, etc. But here's another thing you can do. You can modify the order of these badges, but you might say, wait, all right, we could already do that. Yes, we could, but let me show you how it works now. Now I selected these two badges inside two other layout frames with different layouts, right? So what I can do now is use my arrow keys on my keyboard, like that, left and right, to move it around. But at the same time, I can use the top and bottom arrow keys, like this, to move the other badge in the other frame up and down, just like this. Now let's move on to the next feature, multi-edit variants, which is very, very helpful. Here I have a component set, and as you can see, I have three button variants inside. There it is. I have the default variant, variant two, and variant three. Now imagine you wanna modify all these variants simultaneously. In the past, you needed to select them all like this and go ahead and modify its properties. But now you can select one of these variants, and then you will see this new icon, which is the multi-edit variants. And the shortcut for that is Q, like this. I can hit Q on my keyboard to select all these variants. And now that the multi-editing feature is active, I can go ahead and modify its properties, just like this. I can modify their corner radius, their size, etc. But what about the text inside? Here, if I just wanna change this text to, let's say, download, as you can see, all these three variants have been changed. And that's an awesome feature, especially if you want to create a multi-dimensional component set with many, many different variants. For example, let's say you want to add an icon to all these variants. Since the multi-edit feature is active, I can head over to my assets. I already created this download icon component and I can simply drag it and drop it inside one of them. And as you can see, it will be inserted in all these variants just like that. I can go ahead and modify its color and maybe I can just scale it up a little bit like this and our variants are ready. The next thing we are going to talk about is the multi-edit component creation. Imagine you're working on a page like this home page and then you want to create different variations of this page. Let's say you want to change the layout or in this case I just changed the corner radius, I changed the layout here and here I added one more card and I created a horizontal carousel. And once you're satisfied with the result, you may want to turn your elements into components. So here, as you can see, we have this tab bar, but it's not a component. As you can see, if I select it, here we have a simple auto layout frame. In the past, if we wanted to replace it with a component, we needed to take it out like this, turn it into a component, create an instance of that component, and just replace all these tab bars 
with an instance of this component. But it's no longer needed because now you can select this tab bar. You can just click on this icon to select the matching layers. So now all these tab bars are selected. Then you can hit this icon. And as you can see, the tab bar component is created and it's placed outside this page for us. And guess what? Figma already replaced all these tab bars with an instance of this tab bar component. Here, as you can see, now we have an instance of this tab bar component, which is very, very beneficial. If you want to learn how to make your design responsive using Figma variables, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.